Hi Connor parents, it's Linda Brennan. I am the math specialist at Connor School. I predominantly work with just grades second through fifth and I usually um, do both push into classrooms and pull out. So I could be with all your kids or just small groups of kids. It's kind of a great job, I really love it. I started my life here in kindergarten, spent a lot of years teaching fifth grade and now I have landed in a place that I just absolutely adore and that's teaching math. At any rate, um, I am going to show you a couple of quick slides that just share a little bit about what I do. I also wanted to extend my personal invite to all of you to share any questions that you might have about math that might come up as you're working with your children. I'm going to have a special designated time that Ms. Spinati is going to put in the calendar so that you know that you have a place to go if you want to have your questions answered. Of course, your teachers are your first force, but I just wanted to make sure that we had an extra help desk available. At any rate, here are some slides. I hope I answer all of your questions. And if not, email me, albrennan at suffrancentral.org. And I look forward to formally meeting all of you soon. Thank you. Love working with your kids. These slides are going to provide you with a quick look of what you need to know about my Google Classroom. Now notice you're going to find assignments there. Your remote meet codes are there. Notes for me will be there. There's a math toolbox as well as information about the math ambassadors. There's a separate classroom for second, third, fourth, fifth, and the math ambassadors so that I can stay in touch with everyone. Please note my contact information below. If you ever have any questions, this is the best way to reach me. Inside my Google Classroom, you will find information about my math toolkit. You will also find links to our Jamboard, information about IXL assignments, and like I said, math for moms and dads. If you have any questions, please email me. I'm often asked, how do I find Mrs. Brennan's Google Classroom? It's simple. First, if you look at the nine dots, you're going to find all of the Google apps that are available. And the green chalkboard, which you see over here, is one of them that you'll see. It might even be on your child's front screen, but this is the Google Classroom app. Once you click on that, you'll notice I have several classrooms that are here for second, third, fourth, fifth, and even the math ambassadors. So your child will simply, when they open theirs up, find my classroom and click on it. This is what my Google Classroom looks like. If you notice at the top, they say the stream. This is where the stream is. This is the conversation that I have with kids. And I, on an ongoing basis, I communicate back and forth. If they have questions, they can post them and so on and so forth. The other thing that you should notice about here is that this section, the classwork section, which we're going next, is where most of the children's assignments and links are posted. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Now, for the first couple of weeks of school, we've been trying to find the very best way for us to communicate with kids and to make sure they know where they're going. From this point forward, starting on Thursday of this week when we go remote, this is where children will go to find the link to my classroom. If they are assigned to my classroom at that point, they will have access to this classroom and this will be their link. And finally, one last thing that you might want to look at is here. These are the assignments that are due. And you'll notice that whether they're in the teacher's classroom or my classroom. Now, I don't give a lot of assignments. Generally, they're a follow-up to an activity that we were talking about in class. Um, or it could be an IXL um, assignment, such as a diagnostic piece. But this is basically the main areas that you'd have to look at in order to know what your kids have and what they have coming up. So this is a quick look at what the classwork slide looks like once you click on it. This is a list of all of the things that we have conversations about this week and the tools that we use to get there. Last week, if you notice over here, I had the students click on to a quick six minute video that I wanted them to see on the mindset of a champion. All they needed to do was click on this very simple button and the video link would automatically open up. It was followed up by a Google forms activity, which is kind of like a survey. Again, the link to that right here. They didn't even have to look anywhere. All they need to do is to go on the classwork page and everything is set up for them for quick links. Look down below, you'll notice this is my toolkit and I know you're not seeing the whole page, but this includes all kinds of interactive hundred charts and other things that I know make math easier for kids. My absolute favorite tool that we use is the Jamboard. And the Jamboard is a link that I usually put inside the classroom as well. I'll also very often just take the Jamboard link and put it in the chat of our, our remote learning. But the Jamboard gives us an opportunity to write back and forth and to have some interactive conversations about math. So I'm telling you, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool and we will continue to use it on a regular basis. 
I'm sure you're all familiar with the Connor website. There are two sections right here that I want to highlight for you. The first is the staff section. That's where all of our teacher websites are. So you may be, if you're looking to get in touch with any of us, that's a great way to find some great information. The second is teaching and learning. And in the teaching and learning section, I just want to let you know that all of the online resources that we have are all listed on that section. So if at any point your child gets disoriented and can't find where they um, need to find an app that they need, this is the best place to go back to. IXL is a tool that we use regularly, both as a diagnostic piece and as a way for us to follow up on an activity to make sure that students really do understand the concept that had been taught. There's something really important here. If you go onto IXL, you need to make sure it says at Suffren after your child's username. This is the number one thing that students have trouble with if they're having trouble getting onto IXL. IXL is really one of my favorite tools, and it's used for many different things. In the learning section right here, you'll notice that kids will be asked to go in and complete a specific activity, which is a follow up to a standard or concept that the teacher has taught in the classroom. This is how we um, find out if children have mastered a skill or if they're struggling with it. The second is the diagnostic section. The diagnostic is an ongoing assessment of kids. And what it does is it allows us to pinpoint things that kids either need to work on or kids or things that children need as enrichment so that they can move forward. These have specific recommendations and we encourage children to go in and complete just 10 to 20 questions a week. And that allows them to stay fluid in their learning. And the final section is the analytics. And at any point, you as parents can go in and look at where your child is, what they have mastered and what they're struggling with. Just so you know, we have the ability to look at children in live time and to calculate how much time they spend on this. And we put them in this program specifically so that we can capture those things that they have mastered and that we can identify things that we can work on with children. So please make sure that your child knows how to get to IXL and what their logins are. Those have all been provided at this point. So if you have any questions, please let us know. I wanted to make sure you had a quick glimpse of what IXL looked like. On the left side, you will notice that it goes by grade level. And when you open it up, there is a complete set of skills for each standard that is important within that grade level. So if you get something that says, for example, your child is responsible for um, A1, that means they're gonna be doing this activity right here. A1 would be in numbers and comparing for even and odd. If they are given an assignment that's K4, that means that they're going to be division fluency and they're going to be working on division facts for six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's basically the language that we'll be using. And that's it. Thank you again for joining me in my classroom today. If you have any questions, here's my contact information one more time. That's lbrennan at suffrancentral.org. If you have any math questions or student specific questions, please email me. It's the best way to get in touch with me. I look forward to working with your children this year and I really look forward to playing math. Have a great year, everyone. Thanks for coming.